uh, we want to get the old blood circulating all over the body. Let's take a little run. Then I have a surprise for you. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, hey, hey, hey. One, two, three, four. One, two. Isn't this great to be alive? How about a big smile? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, hey. One, two, and rest. One, two. Oh, inhale. Take a big deep breath. Inhale. Blow it out. Inhale. <sighs> Will you please sit down and catch your breath for just a moment? You know, all of us have someone in our lives who have inspired us and have guided us and have helped us. The person that has helped me probably more than anybody else on this earth has been my mother, who has helped me through her example, what she has done with her own body, and uh, the marvelous enthusiasm she has, and by helping me and monetarily when I was a boy, she fed me and clothed me and all these other things. She, I owe her this tremendous debt of gratitude. And now as I promised you today, we were gonna meet my mother and I want you to meet her with me. My mom, especially for you. I'm How are you, sweetie? I'm How's just everything? Buff. Good seeing I'm you. I'm so glad to be here. Really. Well, wonderful. Say hello to all the students. Well, how do you do, everyone on the air? And everyone. I'm so happy to be here, to be able to say a few words. And pardon, pardon us if this is, this is happy. He had to come over and see mom, too. <laughs> you know, I want you to stand, hey, you have a nice new dress on. You look so, so beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jack, but don't, uh, don't you flatter me like that. Why? You hate it. She's a real woman, boy. She loves it. <laughs> Mommy, why don't you sit down here for just a moment? I'd like to ask you. you some questions. And uh, students, you all make yourself comfortable there and listen to, uh, uh, my mom. <clears throat> All right, well, first, uh, Mommy, I'd like to establish something firmly in the students' minds here, and because you've lived a few years. When were you born? I was 1882. 1882, and you were born in France. I was born in France. And uh, you came from France, and... Uh, I was only five years old, if you remember. Well, you don't remember, no. Well, I remember, <laughs> pardon me. And, uh, and you uh, came to San Francisco. Uh-huh, that's right. And, uh, well, being a San Francisco, right, that's uh, wonderful. Now, that establishes you, that makes you about 78 years yeah. young. That's so you've seen a lot of things happen. That's quite an age, isn't it? Well, you know, Jack, I never think of my birthday. And I never think about that. I have just as much enthusiasm and energy as I had when I was a really young woman. I intend to stay that way, too, as long as I live. And one, more thing, one more thing I'd like to establish in the minds of the students is, uh, have you always had this, this wonderful body and uh, this health and this energy and this vitality? Well, Jack, of course I haven't. I know I, and I, had, some, I had very, very poor health. And you remember that, don't you? And uh, Very well. it was all from uh, faulty living, you know. I tell you, I didn't know bad. I didn't know any better, and I did the best I could. I haven't had good health all my life, but I have good health now. You know, and I told you students a student uh, story before that the way we got started, I was this weak, sick kid that yeah. mother had so much trouble with, and we attended a health lecture, and from that time on, we've kind of lived the life together and tried to help each other. Mm -hmm. well, we have. And it certainly pays to do the right thing. We have a wonderful body, you know. If we take care of it, it'll certainly work for us. You know, Mommy, uh, just tell the students now about how much time you spend in systematic well, exercise like we do up here and more or less about the, the foods that you eat. Could uh -huh. you tell them? Yes, I can. Well, of course, you know, every day I exercise with you and you're on, t on the air. And then, of course, I... Um, and that wonderful glamour stretcher, too. That's such a great help. It's a wonderful help. It's just a miracle little instrument, if you'd call it that. And, uh, and then... Uh, I, my, my diet, you know. The tell, tell the students about just uh, uh, some of the foods that you eat. Do you eat a lot of white bread and sugar yeah. and cakes and pies? <laughs> well, I said a naughty of, word. <laughs> that's the thing of the past, Jack. I wouldn't have uh, white flour in the house. No, I never eat a bit of uh, white bread. I just use the whole, the whole grain I, and I do my own baking. And, and, I, and I use all the natural foods. Well, you know, in the first place, you have to kind of study up on those things. So many people do not know what the natural foods are. You know, it seems that all the food that you get now is, uh, is uh, demineralized. So you have to do a little studying along those lines. But I, now I, I know that I, uh, I refrain from using all these demineralized foods. Tell us, student, do you do any work on the ranch? <laughs> <laughs> well, how could you live on a farm, uh, Jack, without working? It's a continuous work. A lot of people are gentlemen farmers. They don't do anything to have people do it for them. Well, I'm a real farmerette, you know, and I do a great many things, and I'm glad I'm able to do it. It's wonderful living on a farm. Now, Mom, you know, I know we don't have a lot of time here. I no, wish we could, I we could stay here for hours and talk and talk. Yeah. But there's one thing before we leave. Uh, could you tell the students, give them a, a couple secrets of how they could feel better and yeah. look better? Uh -huh. uh, pass it on to them. What, what oh, do you yeah. think? Well, I tell you, uh, it, it would be hard for me to tell you everything, 
But then this wonderful book of Jack, the the Jack well, the Environment and Good Health, and you every well, but it's a fact. I believe it. I believe every word of it. How do you like the book, Mama? Oh, it's just wonderful. I tell you, I, I I never heard, I never read anything that was so inspiring. And so I want to tell you about this book. Well, it has everything, everything that Jack tells you here on the air. It's on this book. And then there's one thing that I like very much. He has some very interesting recipes too that are very very good. Well, it's just everything. It would take a long time to describe it. I would advise you all to have one. In the home. It's very inexpensive. Let, let's show them what it looks like here, huh? Can we do that? <laughs> well, Just hold it real still. Uh -huh. That's it. It's the Jack O'Lane way to vibrant good health. And yes. if it wasn't for my mother, this book would never have happened. And uh, I'm so proud of it. Like, uh, I've been asked by thousands and thousands of the students, Jack, why don't you come out with a book of something that people can understand and that people can get some good out of and they can use it in their everyday living. And that's what's in this book. If a person's young or old, yes, by or following the instructions here, they're going to get good, wonderful results. And it'll make a lovely gift for someone, too. People who do not know much about good health, you know, a book like this will enlighten them and it will inspire them. I wish we had a little more time. I'd like to, and I wish you were in your... Uh, Pedal pushers or shorts or something, you know, so you could do some exercise with. Oh, Jack. Well, Mommy, I see we have to get back to our gymnastics mm -hmm. now, and uh, thank you very much for coming yeah. down here and take time off. Well, goodbye, schedule. everyone who have heard me. I wish I had more time to tell you more about my simple life. Can I have one little peck? Okay. What a sweetie. A little Frenchie here. Okay, Mother. We'll, uh, we'll see you in a little while, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you.